On a sunny day, you would have most probably see this huge fluffy cotton candy floating in the air, which we called cloud. Clouds appear in many shapes and sizes. Sometimes they may look like a dog, a dolphin, or even fighting dinosaurs. So, why do clouds have so many forms and shapes, and never look the same? Well let's find out together because in this video, we are going to look at 5 facts about clouds. Number 1 Do you know how clouds are formed? It started when the sun heats the water on earth such as the oceans, seas, and lakes. The heat then causes the water to turn from liquid into gas, which is in the form of water vapor. This process is called evaporation. The water vapor then rises to the sky and cools. Then, it sticks to the tiny particles that are floating in the air such as dust, or other condensation nuclei before condenses into water droplets. Eventually, the water droplets become bigger and bigger to form clouds. So, although the clouds seem soft and fluffy, they're basically a huge clump of water droplets or ice crystal drops. You must have been wondering, if clouds are made of water, then how do they float? Because water don't float in the sky, do they? Well, let's find out together in facts number 2. Number 2. The clouds are able to stay afloat for two main reasons. First, clouds are made of small water droplets. It's so tiny that it takes a million droplets to make one single raindrop. Because of that, the clouds do not have any significant fall velocity. Or in other words, they respond very slow to gravity, unlike any other objects. Think of it like this small dust particles that sometimes you see floating around us. The other reason, is because of the warm air rising from below. It pushes the clouds up, just enough to keep them from falling. However, clouds don't stay afloat forever. When the clouds get larger, more and more water droplets stick together and grow so big until they are no longer act like dust particles. Thus, the droplets started to fall as rain. Number 3 Hmm. I'm wondering, what are these clouds for? Besides for your imagination? The clouds are actually important for the Earth's temperature. This is because clouds can either warm up, or cool down the temperatures on Earth. During the day, clouds can block heat from the sun, which makes the Earth's temperature cooler. While at night, clouds can keep the temperature on Earth warm, as it trap the heat and send it back to the Earth's surface. Number 4 You might notice that clouds come in variety of shapes and sizes. So why aren't they all the same? Well, the shape of the clouds is determined by the temperature and their altitude. Since clouds are made of small water droplets, when their rise is high up to the sky the temperature gets colder, causing the water droplets to freeze into ice crystals. The wind current then stretch and twist the ice crystals into strands, giving them their wispy appearance. So, if you look high up in the sky, you can see cirrus clouds, one of the most common form of high-level clouds. While on the medium level, we can find alto cumulus cloud. Since they are formed at a lower altitude, they're mostly made up of super cold water droplets, or sometimes a mixture of both water droplets and ice crystals. Number 5 Have you ever wonder, why are most of the clouds white? First, let's talk about the sun. The sunlight is actually made up of seven colors called a spectrum, which is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet all the colors that we can see in a rainbow. When these seven colors combine, white lights are formed. As the sunlight passes through a cloud, it is scattered by millions of water droplets. These droplets scatter all of the colors equally, preventing some colors from standing out more than others. As a result, the sunlight continues to remain white. And that is why, the clouds appear as white. However, you might notice that not all of the clouds are white. Sometimes they are gray and appear, gloomy. This is because when more and more water droplets are formed, the clouds get thicker. So when a cloud gets thicker, less light can pass through it. Just like any objects that transmit light. As a result, the bottom of the clouds become darker which appear to us to be gray. Oh no, I'd better get going before the rain comes. 
See you in another video.